And the scene was heartbreaking, as we said, like so many other places we visited across the Arklatex. The water rising so quickly that most people were forced to leave pretty much everything behind. The water rose in a matter of hours, trapping many people inside their homes. The only way to get there suddenly by boat. Anything that's salvageable, you can still get out, getting out while you can. Lake Bistineau hit hard, historic flooding. Several homes and vehicles on Horseshoe Loop and Doylene remain at least partially submerged. Uh, there's a lot of these that uh, they're, they're totally wiped out. Uh, these that behind you, it was higher. Those those homes are completely wiped out. Tommy Flores lives on Horseshoe Loop and luckily his home escaped the worst of the flooding. For many of his neighbors, it's a far different story. Down on the other end where they almost got to the roof line, they, they are just about totally gone. But during the hardest of times, the sense of community shines through. Huey Lean Jordan watching the waters approach her home, but standing strong for her neighbors. We've had some to come over here and we've talked with them over here and uh, it's, it's just been hard for them. Of course, we're getting a dramatic look at the flooding by land, water and air. Check out this incredible drone video shot by Lake Bistino resident Mike Adkins. Here's Camp Joy. You can see that there. You can see the height of the water all the way up there. This neighborhood is near Rogers Marina along Fairview Point Road. You can see the extent of the flooding there, water surrounding the home. Some of them again accessible only by boat still days after the heaviest rainfall. Several restaurants, boathouses, cars, dozens of other homes overtaken by that rising water.